Bloody hell, would you check out this one? 11th month, 1984 HJ47. She is a humdinger. This one belongs to Gavin. Gavin's come up to say hello today all the way from Bow Desert, show his rig off and come and get some genuine parts off a Mr. Land Cruiser. Heater tap, door cards, I think some uh, bonnet hinges, just some uh, other stuff we got on the shelf uh, to keep this one really well maintained. And Gavin's got a story to tell. He has owned this one for over 20 years. So second owner and he's done a lot of changes to it. It's um, being the 84, it's uh, already got the disc brakes and a few of the good things, but Gavin goes to Northern Territory a lot and doing these big from Southeast Queensland to the NT trips uh, with a four speed 2H, it's, it's a long drive. So um, modified over the years, the five speed's gone in it out of a 75 series and that's given it a bit nicer on the highway, wasn't enough, so it comes back and puts the, the turbo on it, wasn't enough, he cooled that, wasn't enough, so he bought himself a donor car, a HJ61, and now under the bonnet is the mighty 12 HT, and she's done some miles. He bought this, it was done under 200,000. Since he's owned it, it's done over half a million now, and uh, that's with the, the 12 HT, he loves it. So up the front, we got the ball bar, the ball bar steel, and look at the side rails, they've um, integrated, the high lift jack mount holder and they cover, protect the whole car, the LED lights and the halogen headlights up the front and a worn winch going on there, it was an aerial. It's got the after aftermarket sun visor and just snorkel, the air feeds in on the other side, snorkel um, the air boxes on this side but it's come up really nice. The 12 HT is the 2 H um, block so you know it's going to fit. They're one of the easiest um, upgrades actually because if you get your mounts right, they just bolt straight in. And that's exactly what this one's done. Behind me, um, all original, we're chatting away and he's talking about um, changing the tray and he's got a, a, a roof for it. So it's one of those things. When you own one of these, you never stop tweaking them. You never stop having fun. And uh, toolboxes all around it. On the other side, there's toolboxes. That leaves... Um, it's a nice snug fit, so both dual battery and um, start battery are all underneath the tray here. Uh, I, I noticed the word Ironman on the suspension, and you've got a set of the Chromies. They're dated 1985, Land Cruiser rims on there. So um, he's also modified a few things inside, overhead console, and um, it's easy just to go and have a look, check out what's happening inside the car. What I didn't mention is, um, with the 12 HT comes the aircon part. So this one's got the old knee freezer and that's all plumbed up. He absolutely loves it. So we're talking five speed power steer, disc brakes, uh, aircon. It just um, brings it into the modern world. The seats, he went to um, a wreckers to get some SAS seats. They said 600 bucks, but you can have these ones for 150. So they're quite comfy actually. They just don't know what they are. They're out of a smaller car, but they're bloody comfy. Console. Overhead console. The overhead console is really cool. It's um in the middle instead of at the front. And this is a steel roof above me. The whole car is still steel and houses things like his um, 10 full rubber ducky, UHF. And the, the dash is plain. The dash has aftermarket um, gauges which don't drill in um, to any of the dash. So he's kept it nice and uh, 47 like. Unripped dash pad. It's just a really, really um, clean interior in here. It's quite nice, quite comfy. And again, this guy drives um, from Queensland to Northern Territory and back again. He does some big, big Ks in this one, over half a million. What I didn't mention, underneath the tray has an extra 130 litres of uh, diesel, an extra tank, and behind it, an extra 80 litres of water, or an 80 litre water tank. So very cool, set up for touring. I really do hope uh, Gavin pops in again. It was great meeting him today. It's great when people bring their show and tell in and we get to do these walk arounds. What a pleasure. HJ 47, 1984 with the 12HT.